Hey, welcome back to Skinny Scouter. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Boy Scout Handbook and how to use it. Let's get started. So a few things before I go ahead and open up the book. The first thing is some people ask where do you get your book. Now, some troops will provide it to you for free, um, and other troops you'll have to go buy it yourself. Um, you can get it from the Scout Store. Um, they're not terribly expensive. Um, now, there are two types. There's the handbook for boys and the handbook for girls. The only difference between the two is that the boys one has pictures of boys and the girls one has pictures of girls. You're also going to want to make sure you take very good care of this book because unlike Cub Scouts, where you get a book every single year, this one you're going to have your entire scouting career. So that's five or six years. They do sell covers if you want to buy one and they run for 10 or $11. So opening up the book, the first thing you have is the youth protection pamphlet. Now for scout rank, it is required that you go through this with your parents. Um, so don't just get rid of it. Um, the next page you have where you put your name, you can put your address and different milestones in here, but I just put my name. All right, so now we get into the main purpose of having this book. Now this is page 441 at the very back of the book. And this is where you keep track of your rank advancement. Now it has all the requirements for every single rank in here, as well as a place for you to check them off and have your leader sign them. Now, the reason for having this entire book of information is that under every single requirement, it has a page number to see. So for example, 1F in scout rank, it says, repeat from memory the Pledge of Allegiance. In your own words, explain its meaning. See page 60. If I go to page 60, you can see that it says the Pledge of Allegiance. It shows how it came to be as well as what it is. So after all your rank advancement pages, you have a list of merit badges. Now it's fun to take a look at this to see all of the different merit badges. I mean, there's like over a hundred of them here. Um, the ones that are highlighted in yellow are required for Eagle Scout, and the ones that aren't are just electives. Then you have your leadership and training log. This is where you keep track of your positions of leadership in scouts. So for example, senior patrol leader, quartermaster, scribe, all of those you're gonna put down in here um, and the date that you held them. So it is pretty important that you record these because it is required for rank advancement. The next thing you have is your hiking log. This is where you put the location of your hike, the date that you took it and how many miles it was. Camping log, you put your location, the date of the depart and return and how many nights it was. Then you have the service log. This is where you keep track of your community service. So you put the type of project, the date, and then how many hours you spent. And then that is basically your entire book. The rest of it is index for you to look things up that you may need. On the very back of the book, you have the scout oath and the scout law for you to easily memorize. So that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope this helped. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye for now.